Hey, this is Gleb. A lot of people are asking sometimes, how do I confirm that two text elements on the page have the same text? You're not sure what the text is or should be, but you know it should be the same. So for example, in this example, my heading is aim off and then the same text happens to be inside the text. Okay, let's do it. We can get the text from the heading. So h2 with id1. This yields a jQuery element. We can invoke jQuery method text. So this will give us a string. Now we want to confirm that that string is present in this paragraph, you know, in the subject. So anytime we get something from the page that we don't have a value right at the start of the test, we have to use side then callback so the text is available inside the callback. And inside the callback, we can execute more Cypress commands like site contains. So ID subject and the text is whatever value we got from the first element. So let's see if it works and it does work and finds the same text there. What about several elements? Let's move to the next example. I'm going to remove only from this and I'm going to set it on this example. So here we have a select element with a couple of options. And if we select one of them, right, notice what happens to the text. If I select grapes, then it changes and says you have selected grapes. Grapes are delicious. If I select bananas, then it changes the text of those two elements to bananas as well. So we have selected fruit and we have a phrase fruit are delicious. So let's confirm that this is working. First, we need to pick maybe, let's say, a random option for the fruit select. Here's how we can do it. We can get a fruit option elements and we can confirm there are a couple of options. Length greater than, let's say, two. Okay, so we get a couple options from this select element. Now, these are elements and what we want to do is to get actual values, apples, grapes, or bananas. Those values are from the attribute value from each element. I will use my Cypress map plugin, which provides a map invoke command. It's a query command where you uh, invoke a particular method by name, get attribute in this case, and then you can provide arguments like value. So what we're doing, we're iterating over all DOM elements in the current subject. And then we invoke get attribute value from each one. So here we can print the values using cyprint again from Cypress map. So notice we got three option elements. We call get attribute value on each element. And we got apples, grapes, bananas. Now you can randomly pick one. So Cypress map includes sample query command and let's say print uh, picked and then you can pick the like print the current subject like this. So we picked apples. If we run again, we pick bananas. If we run again, grapes, apples, apples, grapes, and so on. So randomly we pick one of the values. Again, if we get something from a page, we can use the value inside a side then callback. So we can get the fruit select and select the actual name. Okay, so we picked bananas and now we selected bananas and the text updated. And now we can confirm again using contains that the page shows selected fruit name and the name of the fruit is also set to whatever value we selected. Okay, so this is an example of getting something from the page, randomly picking an item, and then using the picked value in a couple of places.